head into where they're shedding. Hey, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Your host, Cody Sheen here. Today's going to be a fun day. Today is the beginning of a four-year uh, trip that I've been planning in the making. It's uh, It's been an up-and-down roller coaster trying to make it happen, but this year's the year it's going to happen. The weather has always been the big problem in the past. Either too much rain, washed out roads, or snow drifts. Um, the logistics are pretty difficult to get to, to where we're going, but I'm hoping to have a great time. Me and my buddy, uh, Marcus Blood, will be joining me, and we are going to be hitting the hills, heading where they're shedding, to look for some brown gold. So we got our packs loaded. We're going to be going in for two nights over the this weekend, and uh, yeah, we don't know. We hope for the best. Expectations are high. I think we might find a lot of chalk, a lot of white, and hopefully we can find some big old browns. So that's the expectation. That's what I'm hoping. That's uh, that's my plans. I'm pumped that the weather's great, and we're getting this done finally. Yes, this trip's been in, in the makings for a long time. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for rocking it. We're going to move on up the hill to Shed Mountain to a new location. Find some brown gold. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome back. We've uh, completed one leg of our trip. I got, as I promised, Marcus Blood here with us. So Blood. And then our driver, our chauffeur up here, Cowboy Gus, as you remember him. Because. Yeah, in our fishing videos. So uh, he was nice to drop us off, drive us up here. We're going to unload the quad and sec start our second part of the leg. Thanks for joining. There goes our ride. Hey guys, Marcus and I were just uh, cruising down this road still, getting to our destination, and we came across this little cool little cave. There's some water in it. I'm gonna spin the camera around. Yeah. Cool. It's cool in here. Ah, very nice. A little place to hang out. trailhead blood and i uh we're 0.4 miles into it right now this is about as high as we can get at 3700 feet everything is a gradual drop down we want to lose about 2000 feet elevation we think but we'll see all right give me the little update bye for now
I just left blood up on the main trail. I was looking across, we were taking a break, and I spotted a couple antlers tines up about 200 yards in the glass. And I'm just going through this thick, nasty stuff. I got a little itty bitty trail that I just came through. But as I was popping through, I'll, I'll turn around and show you. Okay, as I was coming through, look at this what I just found. Oh, there's the other side. I mean, it's a deadhead side-by-side set. That's too cool. Way too cool. Yeah, deadhead side-by-side side, side set. Uh, well, it's going to be my first antlers on this trip. It's a 2022 shed tour. Uh, we are backpacking in. Marcus Blood's my guest. And uh, this is a toad of an antler here. Let's pick him up. Oh, boy. Just a big, old, heavy fork and horn. I mean, that thing is seriously massive. His G2 must be 15 inches long. Good, good, good buck. Good old buck. That's three point size a little better. Sorry about the camera angle. Yeah, just a big gnarly buck. Probably died on old age. Let's go ahead and pick him up. Yeah. Woo! Look at that big old tank. Looks like a hard white. Looks like last year's for sure. Big old heavy three point. Cool buck. Got the skull cap still on. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Let's see what he looked like. Put him back together. Probably something like this. Let me spin the camera around. Probably something like that. You know, he got eight, 16, maybe 18 to 19 outside the spread. You know, I'm probably cheating a little, but as you can see, I'm just surrounded with brush. I'm trying to get up over here to go up there to find another shed, but man, just pure luck running into this guy. Cool, pure luck. I'll go ahead and pick him up real quick. A little added bonus coming over here. It's too bad he had to die, but it's part of Mother Nature's plan. All right, let's go pick up the other ones and uh, see what we find. All right, I finally made it out of that brush. As you can see over there, I kind of marched my way through that. And then it took me a minute or two to find this guy. Once I did, I knew it was the one I was looking for. Just another big deuce. Heck yeah. Looks like a, a chalky. Looks like he's been sitting out here for two, three years. Just a real hooking forking horn. The main beam hooks in big time. Hard to get it on camera. Cool little buck, really lightweight. Two and a half year old probably. The other one, three point, I think, is up the hill uh, a couple hundred yards. So I'll turn this off and go see if I can find him. Well, guys, what I thought was a little three point white antler ends up being some sticks right there. Uh, I don't know, I'm probably looking close to 300 yards through my 10 power. And uh, it fooled me, it tricked me. I got duped by the old white stick. So that's okay. I'm gonna start heading back. I just gotta get through this maze. There's so much brush. And uh, get, get back to blood. And we got about a mile, mile and a half before camp, so. All right, unless I find something, I'll see you at camp. Hey guys, I'm not back at camp yet, but I was coming around the corner. So I'm trying to work my way up and I saw this bone. And then I looked to my right. Saw this little pile of antlers, a little dead head it looks like. Kind of cool. Little three by three. Oh well, I think I'll leave him there. He's pretty chalked out. He's pretty cool though. Another deadhead. There's two more antlers, but I'll leave them there. So peace on the deadhead on the four on the three point. So back up top, I got a little bit of a climb, and then to go meet up back with Marcus, and then back to camp find a camp. If you can 
read that. You got better than I do. Yes. 2E08. Okay. Helps me out. Blood thinks he's found the ridge that we're gonna go spend the night on. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, we are 5.2 miles into this trip. Marcus and I just dipped over the ridge line, trying to decide on what we want to do, where we want to camp. And uh, I looked to my left, found a little brownie. Uh, maybe not a brownie. Maybe it's a chalky, but it's a little four-point. Spin the camera around. Oh, yeah, it's a chalky for sure. Pinkzilla. That's cool. This might be where we're gonna be camping. Cool. That's number six for the day. Old hard white. It has some serious crackage in it. Big old deuce again. I was trying to look for his matching side. Just bakes out in the sun. That little four point chalky up there, six, and this is seven. We're not even looking for antlers. Yeah. Right, we got a pretty good valley to go search. Sounds good. Alright guys, we're still searching for some flat ground. Right, guys right now in camp we are at the portion where we are hungry we are cooking today I'll be using my sumo jet boil for the first time I'm excited to use that today's dinner for me is gonna be this beef pasta marinara from peak refill it's good stuff ten and a half ounces of water Marcus is going with uh, backpackers pantry it looks like the uh, three cheese Mac and cheese, good choice. Pasta up, carb up for tomorrow's big hike. Uh, we did four and a half, four point two 4.2 miles to get into our campsite. We're still really high in elevation. That's okay, we found seven older bones. We're gonna eat, energize ourselves, rest for a second, and then um, go do a little evening walk just locally around here. And then tomorrow we're gonna push down the canyon, push down the drainage, and just have fun, see what we find, just go exploring. Does two cups. Let me soak that up. With eating these. Uh, freeze-dried meals is just making sure you shake it up real well and you can make sure to get into the corners and uh, just give them proper time 15 20 minutes 20 minutes for this I think it's 15 but 20 minutes at least let it hydrate up come back to life and oh so good it ever tastes all right welcome back uh, all trail so we did a total of 5.7 miles today uh, about I'm about 150 yards from camp where we're camping and I found this little chalked out 
old, old chalk. I just throw it by the tree with the other four point chalk. But I uh, had a beautiful sunset just a few minutes ago. And uh, man, it's gorgeous out here. So happy to be out here. It's starting to cool down. I'm going to layer up, go have uh, my dinner. It's ready. 20 minutes is up. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Catch you tomorrow. You know me, I